Welcome to TorchwoodHostings.com's first look and how-to for Sonic Panel, the brand new radio hosting panel from WHM Sonic. Now here I'm going to show you how to quickly upload auto DJ files, how to do scheduled playlists, load a jingle up, or an ID, or an ad, or whatever you want to load up. It's going to be a fairly fast video, so... Without further ado, let's get into it. First thing you do is you log into your Sonic panel, like we're doing here. Now we're in here and we click Manage Auto DJ. We're going to come down and go to Playlists. MMR Active is the active playlist right here. Upload MP3 file. You open a tab up on your computer with your music in it and say we're going to upload this file right here slide it over there boom see a little circle going it's uploading when it goes back to blank it's done you can also upload multiple which i'll show you in a minute here coming up now that file is here if you have your playlist set to randomize it'll randomly play but otherwise if you got it on playing it in order you can move the file around and put it in different positions until you get it in the order you want it to be in now let's say we're going to make a scheduled playlist you enter a name for it we'll just go and call it scheduled create playlist upload mp3s this is where we're going to show you the multiple way of doing it and say I want to do these four songs right here. You can hold down shift and tag multiple or use control and tag different files at a time. Drag them over here. You notice it says four. Boom, it's uploading them. And like I said, this is a fast uploader. It's a lot faster than FTP, I'll tell you that. Once it's there, you click close. You see your files. Click schedule. Select a date. I'll use January 31st. Pick a time. This is in military format, 24-hour format. So say we want it to play at 20 hundred hours. You got play once, repeat every day, repeat weekly, or repeat monthly. We're going to do the play once just for our example here. Select that. Click create. Boom. Our playlist is scheduled to play January 31st. 20 hundred hours one time only we're done we can walk away that you can use this to replace a dj that can't be on air and you got a pre-recorded show of that dj or another dj you can put it in and it'll play it on air just like you had a live dj there if the time has come or you decide you don't want to do it you got another dj to cover the schedule you can click delete now once you do that you can come back to playlists Select play, you'll see the playlist is still there. It's, it only deleted the scheduling of it. If you want to delete the playlist itself and get your space back, you click on that and click delete here. Boom, those files are deleted. The space is now back for you to use. Doing ads or jingles, you got a choice to play every one, two, and three songs. It means play one ad or jingle out of this list here which you see right underneath this is id and promo for example it'll play one of these files after every three songs or you can do it after play two after every three songs where i'm going to work with the developer and see about making some tweaks to this i think it'll be nice but that's another video for later right now we're just going to leave it at every three songs if we were going to upload a file, I'm not going to actually upload it, but you come down and choose your directory again, you grab your file, you drag it over here. If I release the button on it, it would actually upload it, but I don't want to do that, so we're just going to get out of that. And that's all there is to it, to upload that. Now, if you want to play a jingle live right now, you choose your files it one of the files you uploaded click play now and it'll play it right now on air for you <coughs> <coughs> i 
these are radio drop jingles um, it's a testing thing you can play with it to test it and see how it works before you actually spend the time to upload it's up to you voiceover or voice pro you can type up to a 70 character message here like hello listeners if you click play now in 10 or 15 seconds after you click that a voice will merge into your currently playing song and it'll say hello listeners pretty neat I personally find this to be fun because I could use this to really screw with some DJs but hey that's me you know um, they do have this little test thing you can click on to test it if you want to see how it works out before actually typing something in you can do that it'll say you are listening to Sonic FM great little feature it's fun it's good to play with um, <clears throat> Manage playlists and uploads exactly where we already been. So you've seen all that. If I had more schedules in schedule playlists, it'd show up in here, but I don't have any right now. I have no scope. If you click scheduled list, you'll show all your scheduled lists that you had. If you want to know your hard disk usage, there you go right there. If you want to look at your listener graphics, there you go right there. Shows you your monthly and your daily. Um, if you want to do your radio stats live, same thing there. Now, listeners on Google Maps, you have to put in your um, key. You go to Google, and I'll have instructions from WHM Sonic slash Sonic Panel on how to do this later on. But you get a key from them. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't recommend using this feature. Because if you go over a certain number of hits, they start charging you, the person that put the API key in there, a fee over a certain number of hits. So I'm going to tell you right now, I personally do not recommend this and I would not use this if it was me. If you want to see your account summary live, this tells you stuff about your account, current speeds, listeners, ban disk usage, bandwidth. CPU usage, memory usage. This is good. If you see a really, really high number, like 20, 30, 40, then you can say, oh, they're having a server problem. And you can write us and say, hey, we're having, you're having a server problem. I see high server usage on there. And then we can investigate it and find out what's causing it. Memory usage, eh, just shows you how much your server's using off the memory. Eh, no big deal. Um, bandwidth usage shows you all your pretty bandwidth usage for each month. Uh, change password. I recommend not changing it because if you change your password and lose it and we don't have a copy of it, the only thing we can do is make a new password for you. We can't give you your old password. And that's really about it. Um, thank you for uh, tuning into this. There are probably going to be some more videos made on this a little later, but if you want the best and the cutting edge technology, Sonic Panel is it. And as of right now, January 23rd, 2020, it is only available at torchwoodhosting.com. We are the first U.S. provider to give you Sonic Panel. So I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough. It'll give you a little hint of what's to come. And if everything goes good, we're going to be running this starting Saturday, February, um, Saturday, January 26th. So, I hope you all enjoy. If you want to be a customer, go to www.torchwoodhosting.com.